Picking a good editing application these days could be pretty confusing, right? There's so many of them out there and I've used a lot of them in the last 15 years of editing. So I wanted to make this video to walk you through the top five and I kind of give you the pros and cons, show you if some are free, some are paid and kind of break down each one in more detail. And I do have detailed tutorials on each one as well. And I'll give you a ton of resources in the description as we go through this video. Now, the ones I'm going to focus on for this video are going to be the ones where you need a computer. You could do this on Windows PC or Mac computers. All five are going to work on both platforms. Now, some of them also have a mobile version, so I'll mention that, but I do have a dedicated mobile video for if you're using iPhone, iPad or Android to edit videos, but I highly recommend if you want to take editing to the next level, just do it on the computer. Mobile devices are still very limited when it comes to editing. At the top of the list, I have Adobe Premiere Pro. Now this is the most high-end professional editing application and it's created by a company called Adobe. So this is what we personally used most of the time. My team has used it for about 10 years or so. So if you're a professional editor, most likely you're using Adobe Premiere Pro. Now the benefit of it is it's part of the Adobe Creative Suite. So there's Adobe Photoshop, there's Adobe After Effects, and these work really well with Adobe Premiere Pro for video editing. So I seamlessly cut between those different applications and integrate my workflow and so does my team. Now this one has a free seven day trial. So you could download it. It has pretty much everything you need. It might be a little advanced for beginners, but you can get started with it. And again, I'll put some resources if you wanna learn more about Adobe Premiere Pro. But you could do everything from basic editing all the way to advanced animations, creating great YouTube intros, for example. You could do color mixing and a whole bunch more. I'll put a link in the description below this video so you could try the free trial and see if it's for you. Now, the next one on the list is really powerful and it's come a long way. It's called DaVinci Resolve. Now, DaVinci Resolve used to only be for professionals to color grade, to basically give a look to your video as far as the color of the video, but now it's a full-blown video editor and one of the most popular. And the benefit of this one is it's actually completely free to get started with, and you could stay with the free one forever. Premiere Pro, for example, is free to start with, but then you have to go to a monthly subscription if you wanna keep using it. And it's a good point to mention this website called Envato Elements that will basically take your editing to a whole different level if you're using DaVinci Resolve or Premiere Pro. Because Envato Elements, if you've never heard of it before, is basically an all-in-one creative platform where you could download all kinds of different things, including video templates. For video templates, they have it for both DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro and other editing apps. And basically, these video templates let you do a whole lot of professional animation and graphics and video creation that you wouldn't otherwise be able to do. They also have unlimited access to stock photos and stock videos and royalty-free music. This is all in one, so you could download as much as you want. So I'll go ahead and add a link to Envato Elements if you wanna try it out. Again, if you're using Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve, as you learn more about each one, that might be a really good fit to really take your editing to the next level. And Envato also has a really useful YouTube channel too, where they have complete free courses on some of the applications that I'm mentioning, including Adobe Premiere Pro. Hours of editing tutorials completely for free. So I recommend checking out their YouTube channel as well. Next on the list is another free application called Filmora. And Filmora again is available for Mac and Windows PC. Filmora interestingly has an iPad version and a mobile version for Android and iPhone. Now with Filmora again, I'll put a link below where you could download it. Again, this is like DaVinci where there is a free version that you never have to upgrade, but they do have paid upgrades as well if you're trying to do a little bit more. And this one again has a lot of different things, including built-in templates. Now you can use platforms like Envato to get more high-end templates, but if you're a beginner, Filmora should give you plenty to get started with. Next one on the list is a lower version of Adobe Premiere Pro called Adobe Premiere Rush. Now this is a really great beginner friendly app. If you used Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve and you felt like they're a little bit too advanced, Premiere Rush is a great starting point. And the cool thing about it is it's designed for desktop and mobile devices too. So you could go back and forth. So if you're trying to take your editing on the go, DaVinci or Premiere Pro are not gonna be a good fit. This will let you take your stuff from your desktop 
and take it and finish up your edit on your mobile. And this has basic editing again, but you could do graphics, you could do audio mixing, you could do color correction, and it makes it really easy to share online because it's really intended for that new generation of creating content for the web. Next one is called Shotcut. Now this is totally free, it's open source, it's cross all kinds of platforms, Windows, Mac, Linux, and with this one, you never have to get the paid upgrade because there is not a paid upgrade. This is just an open source platform for editing. Now, this has a bunch of different things, again, available to you that could take you from basics to advanced. A lot of people get started with Shotcut. Now, the only downside of Shotcut is because it's open source and because it's completely free, it's going to be limited on the amount of upgrades and the amount of advanced editing that you're going to be able to do with it. And I found it a little bit more glitchy, but I think because the fundamentals of editing apply, so the way you cut and the way you trim and the way you edit a video still is the same as all the other platforms. So once you learn it, you could then evolve to one of the other ones I mentioned previously. And there's two other really big apps that I did not mention. One is called Final Cut Pro and the other one is called iMovie. And the reason I didn't mention them in this video is because those are only limited to Mac computers. And I did cover those in other videos on my channel if you're interested in iMovie or Final Cut Pro. Again, both great options, but again, they're from Apple only on Mac. The five I've mentioned so far are available on all computers. So this should give you a big picture overview. And again, in the description, there's ton more resources. If you wanna try each one, maybe watch a 10, 20 minute or an entire course from Imbato on one of these platforms and see if it fits with your workflow. And you just have to choose one editing platform. I do this for a living, so I jump between different editing platforms, but you really need to learn one and you could stick with it for a long time. So hopefully this was a helpful overview and I'll see you on the next video.